All right, this week's coding challenge is to automate something. I'm taking a program that I created in a small study group on functional program we were running in Mobile back when the office was open. We are working on a project to show how uh, recursion is well suited to traverse binary tree lists and to show that in a fun way. Uh, we wrote a 20 questions game where the pirate has, or uh, the computer has a list of people that it knows stored in a binary tree with some yes or no questions. And uh, I was building those trees by hand, but because they are lists with lots of uh, brackets in them, uh, it was getting hard to do by hand. So I had always wanted to automate this to just teach the computer to make these lists for me. And uh, that's what I did this week. So now, rather than uh, building a tree of uh, people that the computer knows and the conditions, uh, you actually have to teach it the people, much like when you do a CAPTCHA uh, and Google asks you, uh, find all the motorcycles or streetlights in the pictures, and you're, you're busy uh, training uh Google image recognition software for them. So in this case, you're going to train it to play 20 questions. In the beginning, the uh, computer only knows one person, John Lennon. Uh, whenever the computer gets the guess right, it doesn't change its data bank. Uh, right now, that's all the computer knows is John Lennon. So this is an example of a leaf node in the tree. A leaf node consists of a single name. Whenever the computer gets to a leaf node, it will guess that person. Now, if it's not John Lennon, it's going to ask you who you were thinking of. And some condition uh, that is true about this person that is not true about the person that it guessed. Uh, in this case, it, uh, as of February 15th, I believe that uh, Brad Pitt is still alive. So we could use that as a condition. Now this is an example of a leaf node. A leaf node consists of three items. The first item is the yes no condition and the next item is a list which will be its own binary tree which will either be a leaf node or a decision node or a combination. In this case this there's a single uh, branch node with uh, two leaf nodes. I'm just going to teach it a few more people now. Uh, yes, alive. No, I wasn't thinking of Brad Pitt. I was thinking of a co-worker in Mobile, James Wendell. Many people sort of confuse him for Brad Pitt, but uh, here... Uh, James rocks this incredible beard, so uh, we'll add him. Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, it's not Wendell. Now I'm thinking of Kier. And uh, this may stri not strictly be true. I think actually Wendell does... Uh, do some DMing, but we'll pretend for this case that it's not true. I don't know who this guy is, but I've heard... Highly intelligent. To give you an example now how it's building out the tree. You can see now there's a lot of embedded uh, uh, brackets here and the tree has grown in complexity. Uh, but the same recursion that lets me walk through the tree is the same recursion that lets me build this tree. 
Now, I've been putting all things at leaf nodes, but I just wanted to show you that I can also add at decision nodes. Uh, yes, this person is alive. No, they're not bearded. We'll stick in a new person here. It's not Brad Pitt. Uh, we will use a niece, Ruli. AWS uh, React Guru Yes No 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 And lastly, we'll just walk down to somebody and actually make it happy that we know the answer. Yes. Yes. Is they, are they a dungeon master? Yes. Uh, is this scurvy dog highly intelligent? Uh, no. No, they are not. Is it Cure Isle? Uh, yes, I'm guessing it is. Oh, I guess I know. So in this case, uh, it doesn't change the database. And this is what our uh, binary tree looks like. Uh, letting the computer handle all the automation. Uh, the